Hey guys, welcome back to the Stuff Stage here at CES 2016 in Las Vegas. I'm lucky enough to be joined now by Pierre, who is the CEO of Hexoskin. P uh, Pierre, thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, how's your CES going so far? Uh, it's, it's great. It's great. Yeah. Uh, guys who are here in Las Vegas, if you want to come and join us, come and watch the show, and you can grab a copy of Stuff and what Hi-Fi magazines as well. Uh, so Pierre, tell us a little bit about what Hexoskin is doing here at CES. So we're launching, we've been launching uh, our next generation smart shirt. So we've al already had a smart shirt on the market since two years. Okay. Uh, it, it's a shirt that measures your cardiac breathing and movement acti uh, activity. Uh, and this, this week we're launching a version of this shirt that is now compatible with most fitness apps like Strava, Runtastic, and MapMyRun. Uh, and some GPS uh, watches for training and by computers. Okay, cool. Uh, you've actually, uh, you're airplaying this uh, the display, to, well, to the display from your phone, and this is the app that's, uh, that's showing your heart rate as you're wearing it right now. That's right. I'm wearing a, a smart shirt under my dress shirt right now, and on my phone, you can see that uh, you can see my heart rate, uh, 106, uh, breathing rate, breathing volume, so how deep I'm breathing. Okay. Uh, my activity level when I'm sitting down, so it's zero right now, and step counts and all that. And if I click here, you can even see the live data coming from the cardiac sensor displayed on screen. And if I breathe, you'll see the lungs uh, animated. So. Right. <sighs> so, so how is it actually monitoring that, uh, that data? What are sensors that are in the vest? So the, the sensors in the vest are all fabric-based, so they're all part of the, the, the shirt. So you, you barely notice them inside the shirt. Everything that is in contact with your skin is textile-based. There's no hard part, no metal, no plastic. It's all fabric. It's very comfortable, very thin. And then the sensor shirt connects to a small device that's located uh, on the right side of my waist. Right. that records the information and transmit it to my phone. Okay, so it's always monitoring this in the background, or is it just when you're, when you're using the app? How's it, how can people use this data? Well, you actually, you don't need a phone to use the smart shirt because the, all the data is recorded in the device. Uh, so the, the shirt is really standalone, and then you can use the data later. Uh, and so it's really, if you just want to be monitoring it live, you can have the phone, but it, yeah. you can feed it back later to another device. You can have a phone, and now you can also use it with uh, GPS watches from Polar, TomTom, Tom, and other brands. So this kind of open compatibility is a, is a big deal for you guys at Hexoskin. This, this idea that people are going to be using different apps like Strava when they're running and cycling, that, that data will be shared. Yeah, so people buy a lot of devices, wearables, and they use many apps and they want their data to flow from one product to the other. And we, we really believe in that. We, and that's what our users were asking from us. So not only we allow them to use the product with other products and apps and, and devices, but we also have an open data API. So they, they have access to every single information we record with the shirt for them. And we've now, with the new device this week, we've opened an SDK for developers so that people can develop apps now for Hexoskin shirts. So what's, what would be the benefit? So I, I like running. I'm using a watch at the moment to kind of track my runs. What's the advantage of, of wearing the, um, the Hexoskin um, uh, vest? What, what, what advantages would it give me if I'm running? Well, th there are many advantages. Like people, what people use traditionally to monitor their heart rate is these chest strap with a device on the front. Uh -huh. The problem with that is that you also need to wear a a watch with it. So if you play uh, team sports and contact sports, suppose you play uh, soccer or basketball, you cannot wear a watch. Right. It's not safe. If you play soccer, you cannot play the, the ball with your chest if you're wearing a heart rate monitor because there, there's a piece of plastic here. With Hexaskin, it's, it's all fabric based here. So you can do any sports you want, any activity you want, and it's, it's a lot safer. It's more comfortable right. than a chest strap. It doesn't fall down because it's a shirt. And it gives you much more accurate and detailed information about what's going on with your performance when you're wearing it. And what about the, the material of the shirt itself? Is it, uh, is it breathable and sweat resistant for people that are kind of exercising? Uh, it is very breathable, uh, quick dry, uh, anti-odor, antibacterial. So it has like all the properties that y you're looking for in a great sports garment. I'm not sure. Can we get the display back up again just so oh. we can, people can, can see your, uh, your breathing? 
What if you're using the vest uh, long term? Is there, is there any kind of benefits that you can kind of have in terms of your health to monitor your breathing that, uh, that medical professionals could use, for example? Yeah, actually, these shirts are used a lot for health research and for medical research. So we're involved in about 100 research projects in 15 different countries today. We're also involved with uh, the Canadian Space Agency and NASA uh, on space medicine projects. So okay. we hope to have our technology in space in a few years. Right, right. To monitor astronauts. We're also working with uh, some industry that are looking to uh, uh, reduce injuries on the workplace, uh, like in oil mining and gas. Right. And also uh, <coughs> the, the military in a few countries. Right, okay. Uh, are you able to, to airplay to the um, yeah, device I'll, again? I'll show the sensors again. So this is my EKG. Are we able to get it back on screen? Well, we'll try and we'll try and figure that <laughs> out while that's while that's happening. So, um, okay. uh, so if people were looking to get the the Hexaskin vest at this stage, is it is it available to to purchase or is it kind of you've just announced at CES? So the the the, the second generation of Hexaskin shirt is available now for pre-order. You go on Hexaskin.com. And it's $100 off the, the retail price it's going to be. And we're going to start shipping to backers in uh, April. So it's been, it's been crowdfunded, and so it's going to be going out to backers it's in a couple of months. It's being crowdfunded on Indiegogo right now. And so so how, much rough, how much roughly are you looking at for, for, the, for the Hexaskin? Uh, well, for a, a kit, which is yeah. a shirt and a device, it's uh, $299 okay. the US. And the shirts uh, only are 169, so you can buy additional shirts for 169. Right, right, right. And so if, if people haven't kind of backed it yet, they can still they can still get involved. And what what happens after they've after they've been shipped? Are they going to be kind of available in stores or to buy online? Yeah, of course. It, they're always available on exoskin.com. We have a whole catalog of different styles of shirts for men and women and right. kids and teens. Uh, and uh, well, we we sell through some retailers, Amazon.com in the U.S., uh, Best Buy uh, in Canada. Okay. Mm -hmm. How how is the um, how is the vest powered in terms of if it's monitoring your breathing and your heart rate during the day? Does it need to be kind of recharged, or, or does the battery pack need to kind of come out and, and, and be recharged essentially? Yeah. So the the small device that connects to the shirt has a battery inside that you can charge in 90 minutes, and the the new device uh, gives you a 30 hours charge with uh, 90 minutes charge. Uh, so, uh, so that's can enough for like. Your workouts, yeah. your workouts for the next two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you, can you, uh, when you say you're cycling or you're running, are there are there pre-programmed uh, sections of the app to kind of monitor specific sporting activities as well? Yeah. So um, if you're looking at my timeline, for example, uh, I was just trying to get this on screen as well. So for example, so this is you know we'll do it afterwards. A okay. run I did in Vegas here right. the other day. So you've been running in Vegas. So, so, yeah. Right. Okay. So, so, so you have a map. I pace, uh, cadence, uh, heart rate, things like that. Um, I can monitor different activities. Right. So one thing that we have that's very interesting is that we, we have uh, sleep analysis functions uh, in our software. So right. if you wear the shirt to sleep, uh, it's going to give you uh, insights about the quality of your sleep, how much time you slept, how much time it took you to get to sleep, right. and how many times you tossed and turned during the night. Right, okay. Yeah. So sleep tracking as well in yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, just uh, before we wrap up, where can people find out more about uh, Hexaskin? Well, they can find out more on hexaskin.com. We have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash hexaskin. And uh, they can follow us on Twitter. Great stuff. And, and briefly, what does the future hold for, for Hexaskin? Can you kind of hint at anything that might be happening in future? Well, uh, a few weeks ago, we've announced a new project that we're uh, developing uh, for the Canadian Space Agency. And they're uh, like sticker sensors. Okay. Sensors that you're going to be able to stick on your skin. Okay. But this is going to be for medical applications. But for the but for the Canadian Space Agency. Yeah, well that's that's uh, a first client for that technology, but we're developing the technology and we have other buyers for, for the, the these sensors. Uh Pierre, that's really cool. Thanks very much for your uh, time. Uh for having coming me. up on the stuff stage at CES we're gonna be talking to Razor. Uh and so, <laughs> sorry, we're going to be talking to Razor shortly, but thanks very much to Pierre. And you can find out more about Hexaskin on stuff.tv.